Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel 2010 using Autofill. Brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. Okay, in this exercise, use our Autofill for a particular range. So in our range, we want to have A4 through A12 selected. This is the range we want to fill down. Now, yes, traditionally we can just click and drag the fill handle and fill that down. That will fill the date range down. But what I want to show you is to use our fill series. From our home tab I'm going to come over to my editing group and click the fill and then come down to series. From here my series dialog box opens and then I want to make sure that the column is selected, date is this type, and then over here I have some options. If I want, I can keep it on day, and it'll fill down that particular day sequentially. You know, one, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth day. If I like, I can change that around where, let's say I want weekdays only, which means it'll omit the weekends. Let's take a look what that looks like. I'm going to click OK, and then let's look at our data. First, second, third, fourth, and then the seventh. It omits the weekend. Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and so on. Let's try something else though. If I come back to my fill series, let's say I want just the months to fill down. Let's take a look what that looks like. Click OK. And then it keeps the first, the day, and it fills only the months down. Pretty neat, huh? Let's come back down to our fill series and take a look at the year. Click OK. And look, let's take a look. It keeps the first of June and then it fills the year down. Pretty neat. Well, for this exercise, we want to have just the day, so let's come back and choose day and then click OK, and there it is. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, and that concludes our exercise.